Hello! Welcome back to our channel. My name is Kim. Hi guys, my name is Kyle. And today we will be talking about the age, age gap. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be a very popular topic and it's something that we get asked about occasionally so we thought we would address it here. Yep. So we are a Filipina and Aussie couple. We're currently living here in Australia. I'm originally from the Philippines and Cal's from Australia. <laughs> yeah, so we will be talking about the age gap today. Mm. And Did we mention what our age gap is? Yeah, um, no. Basically, we are, um, we have 24 years age gap. What? Not really. <laughs> 23 years and nine months. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's important. Get it accurate. So yeah, 24 year age gap. And we, we um, occasionally get asked about how that works. So we thought we'd do this video and the way that um, we thought we would approach it is we would address some of the myths <laughs> around age gap relationships or at least our relationship right mm, yep number one number of oh, the first myth yep all right so what have i got on my list here <laughs> nothing in common <laughs> nothing in common yeah well honestly we have a lot of um uh common we have a lot in common yeah we have yeah. a lot in common i think that's what makes it work for us yeah. actually um from my perspective it's pretty easy because Kim's very easy going. So in terms of the normal things like music, Kim will listen to anything, <laughs> <laughs> even all my 80s and 90s stuff. Um, and I was gonna say I'm easy going, but that's probably not true. <laughs> But we do have a lot in common, right? Yeah, we do have a lot in common. Like, we both love traveling. Love to travel. Yeah. Yep. Adventures. Yep. And we are both curious. Yep. But you're more curious. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Interested in the world. We get out, we do things. Yeah. We like going to restaurants. Um, I think we're, other things that we've got in common are the things that we don't like. Yeah. Like I'm, I've, oh, well, I'm not obviously at my age a big nightclub person. <laughs> I'm not as well anymore. No. I used to during uh, when I was maybe on my twenties, like until twenty five <coughs> or to maybe I think twenty four. I already stopped going to like discos, like you know, par uh, yeah, clubs. Like I already like had enough mm. with my like teenage life or like mm. on when I'm still like young. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, now I think um, not into it. Yeah. So I think you know this thing about not having something in common. Um, when we say it's a myth, it, it's it's a myth for us. <laughs> I think that there probably are age gap couples yeah. that struggle with. Um, with the age and, and what people are interested in. For mm. Kim and I, it's not an issue. Um, I love to go for a drive out into the countryside and stop and have lunch and a coffee and things like that. Kim loves that too. I like to go to watch sport. Kim comes loves along and has got really involved and, and loves that. Um, and so we, we just haven't found that to be an issue and yeah, I think no. if it ever was an issue we probably wouldn't have got this far yeah mm. we wouldn't because mm. I would probably be um, you're probably be uh, drunk all the time huh? Um, <laughs> <laughs> drunk from your beauty well that's drunk, another thing I mean um, drunk if you're like into pubs or what <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird thing to say um, I'm not a big drinker at all um, and Kim's not a big drinker so we're not big party people mm. um, we, we drink occasionally yeah we, we'll have a glass of wine when we go to mm. dinner or someone's house or whatever but um, we're not 
different in that <laughs> in that regard. How we socialise is very very similar. Yep. Yeah. Number two. Number two. Um, that the old guy can't keep up with the younger woman. Not like that. I just <laughs> mean that, that was. Did you think it was like that? <laughs> Sorry, love. You thought it was sexual. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, just the uh, energy-wise. Well, that as well, I suppose. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, Kals complains a lot. His body's aching. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> She's telling the truth. Hmm. No, he can. Uh, you can keep up with a young Filipina. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be uh, easy from the older guy's perspective. Mm. It would be easy not to, though. Um, I don't think I have ever felt that Kim is too energetic for me. Mm. But generally speaking, um, you know, I go, I go through periods of being very physically active and then mm. being a bit lazy um, these days. And I, I have a, a history a work history that sort of banged my body up a, a fair bit. So I do complain about the aches <laughs> and stuff, but I don't think it stops us doing anything. Yeah. We've, we've climbed mountains, we've um, done 16 hour rides through Mindanao on yeah. a little scooter. <laughs> um, what else? We've gone out, we've played golf, we yeah. have gone scuba diving together. together. Um, so yeah, doing adventures together, yeah, like what mm. normal couple would do as well. Yeah. So um, you you raised the other scandalous bit, the sexual bit. Is that a, <laughs> we won't go too in depth there, but what are your thoughts there? My thoughts. Because all the Filipinas will be waiting for this bit. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they can keep up. <laughs> no problems there. No problems. <laughs> Woohoo! Well done, fellas. <laughs> Um, the next one is uh, people seem to judge that it's all about the money. The, dollars, the, dollars, dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and, and therefore, I guess the other side of that is that it's not actually about attraction at all. So from my side, it's, it's obvious that any man would be attracted to this woman and the Ooh. well and and most filipinas are very attractive as well so um it's fairly obvious that the attraction thing isn't an issue on the man's side uh, the older man but um what about on the the woman's side is it all about the money or is there actually attraction of course it's a uh, attraction like when i first saw you at uh where the place where i work oh my god i was like Ooh. <laughs> His wife must be lucky. <laughs> well, my ex-wife. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so, yeah, I think I, when, uh, the first time I saw you, I'm already like, you know, you know like, uh, when you, it's like there's a special connection between you and that person when you, like, first, like, interact, I mm. think, and then you don't realize that uh, like straight away mm. like but when you really like um go back like the feeling is like there mm. yeah mm. yeah i think there was there was definitely um there was definitely something that clicked but mm. kim was in a relationship so yeah. obviously um, neither of us had on our mind that it would become romantic and yeah. I was just out of a relationship as well so yeah. but there was definitely <clears throat> a connection yeah. um, <laughs> in terms of friendship and laughing yeah. and same sense of humor the way we always like interact <laughs> yeah. every day when I'm like at work and like you know when I'm like mm. going into your table yeah. yeah so um, what's interesting this money thing What's interesting to me is people make the assumption that it's about the money, but um, once we became, you know, months and months down the track, we became romantic, mm -mm. you really had no idea what I did or how no, much money I no. made or how much money I had. I Absolutely no idea. Yeah, I wasn't interested in that. No. And when, we, when I was in the Middle East, I drove a, a fairly 
nice car, a luxury car. I don't even know. <laughs> had no idea, had never heard of the brand. She didn't know what I drove over there, but later on down the track, she was like, oh, okay, I've got no idea what that is. So um, the initial traction was there. It wasn't about the money. Yeah. I think the thing that you were most interested in was once you were attracted, was um, personality well personality you're also interested in whether i was healthy mm, yeah, like if yeah. i'm going to commit to this man mm -mm. is the is he going to be hanging around for like 10, <laughs> 10 or 20 years or is he going to die next year so um uh, yeah yeah so i have to like ask if like you know um like about your health condition yeah. well i had a health condition at the time yeah. which he was uh you were concerned about so. yeah but yeah. we passed through that and become really like really good yeah um, but I can categorically say that it wasn't about the money because uh, right up until after we got married mm. Kim had no clue how much money there was or how much I made or how much things cost yeah. <laughs> like literally clueless. And so. I'm actually the, uh, like a very frugal <laughs> <laughs> among us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so here's another one. But um, I mean, I, I want to add up. Mm. Like we cannot also generalize everyone, every Filipinas, mm. because some Filipinas are. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like don't, this is just they, our story. Yeah, this is yeah, this is just our uh, story. But you know, we've been together. We've mm. met uh, since 2016, and we've been together for almost five years now. Mm. Married for three years, and we've already known each other. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So the next one, this one here. He couldn't get a woman in his country. <laughs> I couldn't get a woman in my own country. <laughs> um, I don't think so. Because when um, I actually like noticed before when we were like just friends on, you know, Facebook, I think um, some women are like, like, I mean, Aussie or any Western women are quite keen on you. Like if you just, <laughs> but... But I think you were not so, like, keen or, like, not interested, probably, with them. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't think that that, that was a particular issue. Um, it, it's been mentioned a couple of times, um, but it always seems to be mentioned by older white women <laughs> saying that because um, yeah, yeah. I'm with a younger Asian woman that... Um, Clearly, I couldn't get a woman in my own country, yeah. but I, it doesn't really work like that. I didn't, I didn't go looking for a particular nationality or yeah, a particular no. residence. Um, I met Kim and fell in love. So, um, uh, was I able to get a woman in my own country? Well, I'd been previously married here, so clearly I could in the past. And <laughs> I think um, if I'd put myself out there, then. I probably and, and had wanted to then I probably would have would, yeah. been able to yeah mm. of course and mm. again I don't that's not necessarily the case for every foreigner mm -mm. I think some might struggle to get a woman in their own country because they may be seen as being old or or not wealthy enough mm -mm. Um, and so it's easier to attract a partner in a culture where those things aren't as important. Yep. And number three. Well, the, th the number three. That's actually oh. number five. Number five, I mean. Mm. Uh, <laughs> number, I, I... number five is that, that she can't count. <laughs> <laughs> number five is I'm immature. Yeah. The myth, the myth is that the younger woman in the relationship is immature. Which could be true sometimes. It could be true. Yep. Yeah. But I think um, in our case that's certainly certainly not true. Um, I've had more life experience. Yeah. Um, and but I wouldn't say that there's a huge maturity gap. Um, 
Kim grew up in circumstances where um, she had to be, you know, the, there was not a lot of money in the in the family. Mm. Um, we need and, to work hard. Yeah, like work, we grow up. Work hard, take on responsibilities from a young yeah. age, be resilient. Mm. Um, she then went and put her, you know, got herself through university. Um, she worked in cities that were away from her family. She then Work became a, an OFW, that's when I met her. She was working overseas and, and making her own life and exploring the world. So I wouldn't say that by any stretch of the imagination she was uh, immature. In fact, in some cases, I think you've got more maturity than I do. <laughs> in, you know, I, I'm serious, you know, like... Um, in some emotional circumstances, I think she's actually be yeah. she's able to see the broader picture better than I am and be more mature. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the gap is in experience. So I've, I've experienced more cultures and more life, uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Kim is immature. Thank you. You're very <laughs> welcome. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh... By the way, I'm already 30 years old. Kyle is 54. Well, you're nearly 31. Um, yeah, be I'm honest nearly 31 with the people. soon. <laughs> <laughs> not really 31 soon. So yeah, I think um, the uh, it doesn't mean that we have like really big age gap. That I'm like really like immature. Like most of the time, or like you know, like I mean, like most of the time, I'm more mature. The way we also like have conversations in everyday life, like you know, on like on about the house, like expenses. So, do you think? Um, I, I, so, what you're saying is that you think that the relationship has made you more mature? Yeah. Yes, that's true. Mm. I, I become really more matured. Mm. No. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think you were you were mature when we met, and um, I think that uh, as time has gone on, you've you've taken on more responsibilities in life that are sort of complex. You know, having your name on legal documents. Um, you know, dealing dealing with other parts of life that you haven't hadn't mm, dealt with before. before. Yep. Um, and what's good is that you're willing to do that and um, and I can just sort of sit back and watch, watch you do it and help you get through it if you need help otherwise yeah. and away you go. So I think, yeah, I mean, obviously we all keep maturing as we go forward, but I, I don't think that you were immature when we met. Yep. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's, uh, I think that's all for... That's the end of the list. Yeah, that's all for now and... What do you guys think? Do you think there's <laughs> any other myths out there about age gap relationships? Yeah, and if you have, then leave us a comment or like, you know, share us your stories. What do you think? And if you're in an age gap relationship, have you ever had people um, sort of attack you about it? Mm. We, we've only had, I've had, well, you've never have, but I've had one person yeah. really yeah. sort of um, be quite nasty about it. Emotional damage! Yeah. Um, she was uh, was an older white, white woman um, my age who um, basically uh, sort of attacked me online, yeah. attacked me and and in the in the process sort of attacked you yes. calling you a 16 year old Thai yeah. prostitute <laughs> it was got every bit of it wrong <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she get every bit of it wrong she thinks mm. that I'm 16 during that time in fact I was already 27 no Eight. 25. Oh, 25. Yeah, 25 mm. during that time. But I take that as a compliment. Of course, you take <laughs> it when you can get it. But have you guys ever experienced that? If you have, let us know. Tell us your story down below. Yeah. Mm. So that's it for now. That's it. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to, uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe and share our videos if you did like it. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.